Welcome to another Figma tutorial. In this video, we'll be covering Figma's Color Picker, and we'll be demoing all of the ways in which it can be helpful to you as you're working. When working inside of a file, you'll find all of the tools related to color on the right side inside of the Properties panel. These will be shown once a layer or an object is selected. Let's start with the eyedropper tool. The eyedropper tool is used to sample a color, usually from an image, so that you can use the color within the project you're working on. Here, I have an image with a bright pink that I want to capture and use for my primary button layer. To sample the color and apply it to my button, I'll first start by selecting the button shape itself. This lets the eyedropper tool know that any color that is sampled should be applied to this selected layer. Now, with this shape selected, I can click into the Fill tool, select the eyedropper tool, or alternatively, I can press Ctrl C or I on my keyboard, hover over the desired layer, and click to apply it to my button. If this is a color that I believe I'll be using often for my project, I can choose to save it. Simply select the layer which has the color you want to save, click into the Color Picker tool, and click the plus. To remove the color, simply right-click and press Delete. Adding colors to the Team Colors panel allows you to create and share colors with any of your team collaborators. This allows for brand colors to be used and shared seamlessly with teammates to ensure consistency across all designs. If a color is added or updated, it allows everyone to stay in sync with the changes. When adding and modifying colors in the color tool, you may have seen text fields for both hex and RGBA. Hex, which stands for hexadecimal, is a six-digit combination of numbers and letters defined by its specific mix of red, green, and blue. A color expressed in hex is most useful in web design and allows for the specific color to be easily taken from Figma right into code. RGBA, which is an abbreviation for red, green, blue, and alpha, represents the specific combinations for each of the three colors to be used on a screen. The A in RGBA stands for the alpha channel, which simply determines the level of opacity applied to the color. You may have noticed that within the color picker tool, there's a drop-down which allows you to choose between document, personal, and team colors. Personal colors are not shared with the team, nor are they document specific. Adding colors to the personal colors panel allows you to use these colors in any project you find yourself in, and enables you to save and reuse these colors easily for multiple projects. Adding colors to the document color panel allows colors to be used throughout the document that you're working in only. This can be especially helpful if you find yourself working on a single project for a specific client. Let's review what we've learned. Control C or I on the keyboard allows you to quickly access the eyedropper tool. Click plus to quickly save colors for reuse. Use the drop down to choose between personal, team, or document colors.